Yeah, hi everyone, Mr. Markwick here. Today I'm going to show you how to graph a linear relation uh, using the slope intercept method. Um, I guess before I show you an example, I just want to draw your attention to um, this equation, which is in the slope intercept form. Uh, when we look at an equation like this um, with y as uh, the subject on the left hand side, the coefficient of x, or the number in front of x, usually it can be a whole number, but it can be a fraction as well. That's our gradient. Um, in my class, we've gone through and worked out that the gradient is measured in terms of rise over run. So we use that value, that coefficient of x, to work out our gradient, or rise over run. And the constant term in that equation is our y-intercept. Um, and that's going to be our starting point when we're graphing um, <coughs> these linear equations or these linear relations. Let's uh, let's come up with a quick example. So let's start with an easy one. Let's go with y equals 1 over 2x plus let's do 3. Okay, so as I said, the y-intercept or the constant term here is our starting point. So I'm going to start on the y-axis at, in this case, positive 3, because it's plus 3, which is here. Oops, let's use the green pen for that would be better. All right, um, and from that point, our gradient is 1 over 2. So that means a rise of 1 and a run of 2. So I'm going to go up 1 square and across 2 to this point. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, just so that I've got three points enough to draw a straight line through. Now make sure when you're graphing this uh, or when you're ruling it up, use a ruler, put a virtual ruler here, and you can actually extend that line beyond those three points. In fact, uh, I would prefer you guys to do that as well. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Uh, let's do one more example um, and I'll leave it at that. Um, let's look at y equals, let's use a negative gradient, so let's do negative uh, let's do, in fact, let's just do negative 2x, take 1. Again, minus 1 this time is my starting point on the y-axis. That's my y-intercept. So start there. This time I've got a gradient of minus 2. Now, what does that mean in terms of rise over run? Because it's not a fraction. Well, remember, any number, any whole number can be written as a fraction as over 1, as a denominator of 1. So it actually means I have a rise of negative 2. The run is always positive, or always moves left to right. Um, so the run is 1. So from this point on my y-axis, minus 1, I'm going down 2 and across 1. Again, I'll do another point, down 2 and across 1. And again, use your ruler to put a straight line through those points. Um, that's pretty much it. The final step is usually, guys, just to um, label that uh, line with the equation. In this case, it's y equals minus 2x. Take 1. And the green, equa uh, the green line had the equation y equals 1 over 2x plus 3. Okay, guys, so as simple as that, using the uh, slope-intercept form of a linear equation, uh, that's how you graph. Remember, starting point. It's your constant term, okay, that comes off the y-axis, and then you use the value of m, or the gradient, to find two other points, uh, and then just draw a straight line through it. Thanks for watching, guys.